This is quite a rare sight in my garden, seeing empty shelves, because normally it's packed to the rafters. <laughs> but I've been reorganizing my shelves here. So in this section, I want to put all my variegated plants. So these are some variegated plants that I've got here. And it needs to have more variegated plants placed in here. Hello there. My name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. So I've repotted a couple of these plants. So this one is peaches and cream at Chivria, and some of them have been growing in their original pot that they came in. So I decided to repot them and put them in pretty pots. So this one is a little bit of a slow grower. This is, I forgot your name. <laughs> Bronze Delight, Sedum Bronze Delight Variegated and a few of them so like this one there's two of these variegated powder puff Pachyveria so I decided to put them in one pot and also my beautiful Mrs. Richards deserve a beautiful pot the soil I planted them in are pretty dry so I need to soak them first well water them and by doing that I need to soak them I love doing videos but in instances like this, it makes me want to give up because <laughs> look what I've done. The most delicate, slow growing sedum, bronze delight. I kicked it and look at that. Oh gosh, what a mess. Very, see how the soil is really, really, really dry. So I need to really, really, really soak this. So I'm going to be taking this hole container I forgot that since the soil is fairly dry I need to put some soil weather but I ran out oh yes I do have some soil weather so I'm just gonna put a little bit a bit too much but it doesn't matter So now I've got my water to the highest level of this pot. So I'm gonna suck up some water and this is used for irrigating ears. So, <laughs> but it works really well for succulents. For big ones like this, I can just use a scoop and scoop it up. But for small pots like this, I prefer to use this so the soil doesn't get disturbed that much. So I like to water from the top and also from the bottom to remove all the air bubbles. I think they're all totally saturated. So now I'm going to have to remove them and put them where I want them to go. So that one, yeah, very heavy. And my tango, silk variegated. Come here. Oh, that's heavy. So now tango here. I don't need to color this. I want it to grow more. And that's why I reported it because I harvested all the babies or the leaves that's going to be a prospective baby for this plant. So that's the flower stem there that flowered. So I need to put this somewhere where a bit high without covering some of my beauties. But this beauty here, I don't know if you can see that one. So this one, oh, snow candy. Doesn't that look like a snow fluffy candy? Look at that. Yummy. But anyway, I need to raise this up. So I need to find a pot or something to raise this up. So a plastic cap from bottles. I don't know, probably hairspray. Anyway, I save them so I can use them like so. Is that good or is that going to get covered up still? It's a little bit wonky, so I have to find something a little bit bigger. Now, oh, this one. Malgan Monstros and also another ordinary Malgan. What I want to do with this one now is put them in one pot because I got the this one first, I think, or the Monstros, whatever, who cares? <laughs> but they needed to be in one pot so that way I can actually compare the two of them, what's going on or the difference between a Monstros one. Look, can you see the, 
the bumps and I call it the Quasimodo effect on succulents. And this one is just plain. See, but beautiful plant. This is supposed to go red when exposed to the sun. And I can't expose them to the sun because these are the only ones I've got and they're still small. I need to propagate them. So maybe that one there can be separated and I can torture that one or expose that to the sun and leave the rest. But anyway, so this has to be put aside so I can repot this one. So I'll just put it for the meantime down in the bottom here. You, But anyway, that one can go here. This one maybe can go there. I could still see that one. But this one now, I could actually put them somewhere there. Next in line is Pachyveria Powder Puff Variegated. This one is now flowering with leaves that I can propagate as well. So this one, the standard one, is quite easy to grow from leaves. But I'm not sure whether the variegated ones would be the same. But nevertheless, I still would like to try and harvest those leaves. But for now, it's still small. You can see. So I'm going to have to let it grow a little bit bigger and then I will harvest it then. But for now, you can stay there where it's nice and high. This one is Onslow Monstros, the baby one at the back here, or should I say the one at the back is having more color and it's just so beautiful. And look at all the pink on the edges of that big plant there. But it's just beautiful, isn't it? Just gorgeous. So, oh, look at that. Ah, oh, beautiful. Now I'm going to put this one, I'll put you at the front. So that way, when I come up here, I can see that and I'll go, ah, beautiful. <laughs> Next one. This is Graptoveria Still Loving You, Monstro's form. So I need to put this, well, actually, I need to grow this one first. This almost died on me. <laughs> so now, hang on. Is there some variegation I can see from one of the leaves there? But anyway, so. I'll put this one over here where I can keep an eye on it after having experienced it rotting from its original soil mix that I got it from and I haven't changed it so now I change it to my soil mix so hopefully it should be okay. Now this one here is a very pretty Hanakada mosaic. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous plant. <laughs> Look at the variegation in the back. Ah, oh, look at that. Now, ah, oh, beautiful. And the center as well. Oh, gorgeous. It's coming up really all beautiful color of the variegation. I got something itchy, sorry. Now, there's a baby growing on the side or one of its head or flower, a couple of them actually. So hopefully I will get more plants. But for now, this one is actually perfect for this one here. So, I'm going to put it on now. That's going to be wonky. Might as well put it there. But actually, this one, I can't put it too much out there because if I do forget it, in winter, this is going to suffer from the frost. So I need to put this somewhere a bit closer in so that way it can be protected from the frost and also can have a lot of sunlight during the day. Now the Sedum Bronze Delight Variegated is such a slow growing plant for me. I already had one plant before it died on me and now this one I got recently, well a few months ago and it's slow growing. It's very very slow growing. So I'm going to put that there and also my Gypsy Mrs. Richards Graptoveria. I need to have a close look on you so I'm going to put you in here front and center and also I need to clean up the mess on this pot which Tuck in. It's got some dirt. Got dirt which I don't like. So there you go. Look at that. I think this is the only thing I don't like about these pots. The dust can hide in the grooves of the petals of. Okay, that's good enough. And this peach pride. I am going to put this one right up the top where I had it growing before. Okay, now I'm wet. Before continuing, it is so hot outside, I am sweating like a pig. Pigs don't sweat, I know, but anyway. <laughs> so I've got some pineapple juice first. Oh. Ah. 
so good. You want some baby pee? Yeah. Yummy, isn't it? See, what a good mommy I am. I share things with you. Okay, finish drinking, baby pee. I've been moving a lot of my plants around because of the heat. So 29 degrees today. Well, still is. Up to now, it's already 6.30 in the evening and it's still hot. Now, this area now, I would like to put all my pretty plants in here, my pretty variegated plants. So this one is variegated red tips, although when I bought it, it's just labeled silk variegated. But can you see how beautiful this plant is? Look at all that variegation. And it looks very similar to this other one that I bought as well. So this is an unidentified, <laughs> and, 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 and I can't even say it, an identified Echeveria variegated. So hang on, I'm just gonna move this over to this spot here. So that's what I was thinking before. I need to move things around because I would like this to go here because I've got another variegated red tips here, but this one is called Agavoides hybrid, I just put 64 because I can't think of a name, but it's got some nice variegation showing as well. This is actually Agavoides of a known name. Label was lost, but look at all that variegation. Very, very nice variegation. So now I have to move these two pots now over on the other side and move this one here. That way I can compare a one, two, and another one. So I need to move, okay, I'll move this one back over here. This is quite fun. Now, uh, this one, I'll just move you here for now. I'll take that one off, move that one back there, and I'll get the other one. So there you go. I've got a one, a two, and a three. I still have another red tips variegated, but it lost its variegation. So for some unknown reason, up the top there. So I'm just going to leave that one there and concentrate on these three. So a one, a two, and a three. And also, I want to show you some really nice variegated plants. This one as well. Look how beautiful beautiful that one it's called Echeveria Gavoides uh, pink tips or pink in oh, pretty in pink <laughs> I know it's got a pink name but look how pretty the pink is it's like half half isn't that gorgeous and also this one Echa Pachyveria or Graptoveria rough or Pachyveria never mind one of those two but this is a variegated form and I'm sure I mean Right now it's just showing some lines. But isn't that beautiful compared to an ordinary one? Compared to two. So the ordinary one on the right and that's a variegated one on the left. Right now this one looks prettier because it's such a bright happy yellow. And that one I'm sure once exposed to the sun, this will also color up like this one. Well, that's what I'm hoping for anyway. It's been seven years that I've been growing succulents and when I started I don't know what I'm doing I don't even know what succulents are so I have to do a lot of trial and error in finding out the locations or the right locations where they will grow now in doing so I have killed many succulents but that did not worry me because I really do love these plants. And this is, by the way, my Graptopetalum superbum that has suffered from the frost before and has now recovered. And look at that, look at the variegation and also show you the other babies. So these are all grown from leaves from that mother plant. And look at the strong variegation in this one. And there's still another one here that's growing variegated. This one might turn out to be just an ordinary one but who knows but there's still babies growing there so i'll never know what oh another one here by the way that's variegated so it's just a waiting game but for the meantime while they're still small we get to see what they look like when they're small these are my recent purchase of variegated plants and we'll get to see what they look like when they grow up and this is my best bait that has grown up look at that isn't that beautiful but i find that the color is lightening up because of the sun so a lot of the echeveria black prince that i have i'm going to show you another one which is the sister or the sibling 
of my Wimsy. Look what happened to that one. It's got variegation. You can see the variegations there. And I need to put that away where it is because this is now exposed to the sun. Hopefully I don't drop my best baits. That's my arm now. I kept forgetting to put this away. So this one now, because of that variegation that has disappeared, I want to put it back here where it's sort of protected and I can keep an eye on it. But nevertheless, it's still beautiful plant. And look at the lines on those ones. So they actually like morph and change into something because they are a hybridization of so many different plants. Who knows who your mama or your papa is, <laughs> but you are already a bit of this and a bit of that. This best baits that I'm holding here now, it is grown in my 50% up above. It's covered by the shade cloth. But since the color is sort of lightening up, I really want it to darken up. So my theory is that if I put it during summer, this is during summer, in autumn and winter again, I might put it back up there again. So this one for now, we still have another maybe five weeks of heat, extreme heat. So it's just warming up now and on the weekend we're getting high 30s. So I'm gonna keep this one here for now. I'll show you my little baby best bait. So this is actually now the second best bait that I've grown. There's another one behind me but I think it's not variegated. So hopefully this will grow into a big baby as well. And Chihuahua Yensis variegated is very healthy looking. I was gonna get up there and show you but I couldn't even get on the ladder. So I think I'll do that next time once I cleaned up that area there. So anyway, but behind me, I really, oh, hang on. I just saw this ones. I really need to pot them up. I want to pot them up, those Sinocrasula. They're so beautiful. I love them. And also this one. Thank you, Kanya. Kanya just gave me that. Well, I can't remember if I bought it or gave it to me, but it's more like really given to me because I did pay. She gave me one. Did she give me one? I can't remember now. I did pay for it, but it was very cheap. So it's like a gift ready. So that's my one. I was gonna report it, but I noticed that the bottom, there's babies growing. New shoots coming out. Can you see? So I can't even touch that just in case I accidentally take it off. So now I'm going to put them, this one here, the beautiful. And also this one, I decided to stop leaving it out there exposed. I'm going to keep it here anyway. So they're both frost hardy and I'm sure they will grow so much better in this area. But, so that raindrops there. So one, two, three, raindrops. Now, there, this only this one has got some drops. The rest has lost its drops. So I want to remove them from there and put them in one pot together with my other raindrops so I can have one big uh, raindrop pot. <laughs> Look, I got more space now. So now I am gonna go inside and start repotting or look for plants that are variegated and also repot them. That way I can fill up this area again. So this is at least one, two, three, four or five pots or five plants that can go in that one. Yes, I found a pot. So the rainbow has to go in here now. I can put my rainbow and fill it up with you over here. <laughs> I am not going to sing because we might get flag by uh, YouTube. So anyway, guys, that's all I've got for this video. I am just going to go and have another drink and before I do that, I really need to see what else I can report over there. But before I go, I show you something exciting that I saw a while ago while I was uh, doing something very, very, very exciting over here. Hang on. This is my Echeveria Annette. And this is rotted for the second time now again. So this used to be huge, like that big before. And after it got to a certain size, it started rotting and then it grew again. And I was able to get some leaves and propagate it. And look at it. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. Look at that. I just spat on my plant. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> look how gorgeous those pink. It's not pink. It's actually salmon. 
salmon color. Salmon, beautiful, <laughs> gorgeous. I'm saying salmon, salmon, because I just saw a variegated salmon plant, salmon coloring plant that I really want to get. But anyway, guys, that's all I've got. So I'll see you on the next video. Oh, hello. What are you? Are you Swan Lake? Yes, it is Swan Lake. Hang on. Yeah. Look how beautiful. It looks very much like... I get confused with Swan Lake, Ronyoni Eye, not Ronyoni Eye, um, Pinwheel, and also Fly to the Sky. That doesn't have to be there, that can be moved somewhere else. Hang on, I'll just check the pot. Yes, I can put you somewhere else where you're going to be much happier. And I'm just going to put all variegated plants in here.